Hey everyone, today I want to show you how to create a shadow layer for your text in Cricut Design Space. Uh, I already typed out some text here and I used one of my system fonts, um, Shelly, and I did that so I could already do my letter spacing, weld it all together, and I think that using a cursive font is going to show you uh, a little bit better how the shadow layer works. So I'm going to go over here in my layers panel. I'm going to change it to a pink just so you guys can see the cut lines a little better because um, I want to show you we're going to change this to print. So you're going to see the cut lines go away so that you know that you're all set and the print icon right over here in your layers panel. Then we're going to hit make it. We are going to hit continue and we are going to send to printer. Now you're going to see your uh, image right here, leave the bleed on, and we're going to right click with our mouse and save the image uh, as, I'm going to do hello too because I already did a different hello. And then I'm going to cancel, uh, exit out of here and cancel my cut. And then I'm going to go back to my canvas and I'm going to go down to the upload button. I'm going to upload image and I'm going to browse and I'm going to select my hello too. And I'm going to choose complex because I think it gives the cleanest lines. We're going to continue. And I'm going to go up here on the right hand side and I'm going to zoom in so I can make sure I'm really getting everything here. And on the upper left side over here, I'm going to click my magic wand and I'm going to get rid of all of the white space. Um, I'm going to get rid of the white space on the inside of my letters too. And I'm going to show you that if you change your mind about that, we can just uh, fix that in the next step. Um, I'm also going to get rid of my registration marks. You could contour them out in the next step, but I think that this is just a little bit easier. Uh, I still have my, some lines there, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my eraser tool over there, and I'm just going to erase it. If you missed any pieces, it will show you on your next screen, but usually you can see enough. Um, it, it's a lighter gray, but it's easy to see, so you can get rid of it easily. So now that we've got that done, I'm going to go over here and press continue, and we are going to save it as a cut file. I am going to just put a tag on that and save it. And because we just uh, uploaded it, it's going to be right here um, in our uploads. So I'm going to select it and insert image. Now I'm going to do one thing first. I'm going to go back to my original image and I'm going to go in my layers panel and change it back to a cut file. And once that's done, I'm going to move it down here and I can see that it's 8.045 inches wide. So I'm going to take my original image. I'm going to go up here and rotate it. Oh, I rotated it the wrong way uh, just to make sure that it's the right way. And I'm going to size it to the size of my original image. And you can see uh, now because we uploaded this, it's above our image. So I'm going to go up here to the Arrange button and I'm going to move it to the back. And then I'm going to take my original image and I'm going to place it over it. And you're going to see a nice shadow. Now you can um, select it. I like to select it in my Layers panel and make it just a tiny bit bigger and kind of move it around. Uh, to your liking. Uh, and I want to show you quickly if we have the shadow layer still highlighted, we can go over here to our contour button and we can uh, contour out those little holes that we had originally uh, deleted in our first step. And this is why I leave them in because if you like them there, uh, great. But if you don't, you can go ahead and do this. But if you don't delete the white spaces when you're uploading it, they're never going to be there. So if you want to add them in, you're going to have to re-upload the image. But this way, you can just delete them and you're done. And that's how you do a shadow layer in Cricut Design Space.